So the next thing that we're going to talk about is the electromagnetic spe spectrum. So the electromagnetic spectrum consists of waves that have different wavelength. So this starts from the radio waves to the gamma rays. And some of the electromagnetic waves that we use in our daily lives include the radio waves, the microwaves, and the infrared. Then the, uh, the X rays and the gamma rays, they also, found, they also form part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And uh, how the sequence is arranged, we have uh, the radio waves, the microwaves, the infrared radiation, the visible light, the ultraviolet waves, we have the X-rays, we also have the gamma rays. So let me just write these points uh, down. So I've said the electromagnetic the electromagnetic spectrum consists consists of waves that have different wavelength then some of the electromagnetic waves that we use in our daily lives include the radio waves the microwaves and the infrared. So some, some of the electromagnetic magnetic waves that we use in our daily lives. in our daily lives include include the uh, radio waves the microwaves and ETC then the sequence so this is uh, how the sequence is. So as I'll draw, these are representing the wavelength. So the radio waves, they have uh, their wavelength is large as you can see their wavelength is large then coming uh, after the radio waves we have the microwaves the microwaves then the uh, wavelength of the microwaves is also large but it's not larger than those of the radio waves then we have the infrared radiation so also these they have uh, a large size of the wavelength but their wavelength is less than that of the microwaves and the radio waves then we also have uh, the visible light Visible light, we have uh, ultraviolet, ultraviolet waves. Then we have the X rays and the gamma rays. So moving from uh, from left to the right side here. The wavelength, the wavelength is reducing while the frequency is increasing. So one, the frequency is increasing.
And let us now look at the length of the wavelength. So the electromagnetic waves that have a short wavelength So electromagnetic waves that have a short wavelength, we have uh, the gamma rays. We have the gamma rays, and the source of the gamma rays is uh, nuclear radiation. So nuclear radiation. We also have the X rays. And the source of the X rays is explosions. Then the wavelength are the electromagnetic waves that have a medium wavelength. Ultraviolet. So the source of the ultraviolet they come from hot objects. So hot objects. These include the sun and the sparks. So the sun and sparks. Then we also have the visible light. The source of the visible light we have hot objects. So this includes the sun. Then the other electromagnetic wave that has a medium wavelength we have uh, the infrared radiation. Infra red, infrared radiation. And the source of the infrared radi radiation, we have a uh, hot objects. So hot objects, one of them is the sun. Then we come to the microwaves in the radio waves that have uh, a large wavelength so those that have a large wavelength we have the microwaves in the radio waves so the microwaves and the radio waves So the microwaves, they come from uh, short transmitters. So these transmitters include those that transmit signals uh, for the cell phones. So these, they come from short uh, transmitters. Then the source of, uh, the source of radio waves they come from the transmitters of radio and TV. So transmitters of radio and TV. So the next thing that we are going to talk about are the characteristics of the electromagnetic spectrum. So the next thing that we're going to talk about are the characteristics of electromagnetic waves. So the first characteristics are the first characteristics that all electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. The second characteristic is that all the electromagnetic waves they are able to pass through vacuum. The other characteristic is that all electromagnetic waves are made up of pure energy. And uh, the other characteristic is that these electromagnetic waves they travel at a speed of light which is 3 multiplied by 
10 to the power 8 meter per second. So these are the characteristics of electromagnetic waves. Then the other thing that we're going to talk about uh, is how these electromagnetic waves differ. So uh, the thing that you need to know is that when the wavelength is uh, large, that means that uh, the frequency is going to be small. So when the wavelength is uh, large, that means the frequency is going to be small. Then the other thing that you're supposed to know is that when the wavelength is small, that means that that uh, electromagnetic waves, uh, that electromagnetic wave has a high energy. And when a electromagnetic wave has a high energy, that means that its penetrating power uh, is very high. So the smaller the wavelength, the higher the penetrating energy. Then the other thing that we're going to talk about are the instruments that are used to detect these uh, electromagnetic waves. So we'll start with the gamma rays. So the gamma rays are detected by the Giga Mura counter. Then the X-rays that are detected by the photographic films. Then the ultra uh, violet that detected by the uh, the photographic films. Then the infrared are detected by uh, by the skin. Yeah, they're detected by the skin. Then the microwaves are detected by the areas and the citrate, they are also detected by a container that contains uh, water in it. Then the radio waves are detected by the areas that have a, t uh, a TV or a radio set. Then the other thing that we are going to talk about are the, uh, the harmful effect of the electromagnetic waves. So one of the harmful effects is that they cause, uh, uh, they cause skin pains. That's one of the harmful effects. The other harmful effect is that they cause cancer. Then the other harmful effects is that they cause mutation to the cells. So these are the harmful effects. So let me just write down what I've said. So the first thing that we're going to talk about are the properties or characteristics of these electromagnetic waves. So I'll say the first characteristic is that uh, they are transverse waves. So uh, they are transverse waves. So all electromagnetic waves are transverse then the other characteristic is that they they are able to pass through vacuum they are able to pass through vacuum then the other characteristic is that they have a speed of light which is so they have a speed of light speed of light which is 3.0 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second then the other characteristic is that they are made up of pure energy so they are made up of pure energy then the differences uh, the differences in these electromagnetic waves so the differences so the larger the larger the wavelength the larger the wavelength the the smaller the frequency then the 
the smaller the wavelength, the larger the energy. The smaller the wavelength, the larger the energy. Then the larger the energy, the larger the penetrative power. So the larger the energy, the larger the penetrating penetrating power. And as, as you can see from the sequence, the gamma rays, they have a small wavelength. So that means the gamma rays have a high penetrating power. So the gamma rays have a large penetrating power. Then the other thing that we're going to talk about are the instruments that are used to detect. So instruments used to detect to detect electromagnetic waves. So for the gamma rays, we have uh, the giga molar counter or tube, then the x-rays, we have uh, photographic films. Then the ultra violet, we have uh, the photographic films. Then the infrared, we have uh, the skin. Then uh, the microwaves. The microwaves, uh, we have areas, so the areas, the areas uh, and the satellites. Then for the radio waves, we have uh, areas that have and let's have a TV or radio set. Then the harmful effects. So the harmful harmful effects of these electromagnetic waves. The first harmful effect is that they cause uh, skin pain. So they cause skin pain. The other harmful effect is that they cause cancer. So they cause cancer. And the other harmful effects that they cause mutation. So we are done on electromagnetic spectrum.